So unfortunately, but not necessarily unexpectedly, the admins over at It Gives Citations for its claim or it else it gets the hose again, buckled under pressure and unfortunately even went so far as to begin to grovel. Hi group, regarding the recent transphobic video post, I wanted to reiterate my response in a slightly more public form. I take full personal responsibility for that video appearing in the group, and I deeply regret the ensuing chaos. I can only apologize for my error in allowing it through, and then for being offline when it all went south. Please be assured that it was not let through with intent, but rather with a lapse in oversight that A. should not have happened, and B. I will endeavor not to repeat. My aim is to help make this group a friendly and tolerant place to be. <laughs> like all the people that were so friendly and tolerant. Um, I value feedback from members to point out places where this isn't happening and to help keep me on track as well. I'm hoping you can forgive me, or forgive this, and we can move on together, but I regretfully understand if any of you feel unsafe or that this is no longer somewhere you'd like to be. I've taken the opportunity to remove some members for breaking rules of intolerance and invading privacy. Please continue to report any intolerance and nasty behavior to our admin so that we can continue. Looking ahead from here, I'm reaching out to see if I can find some moderators in time zones outside the UK to prevent such things uh, being live for so long if anything like this happens again. If you feel you'd like to take on that kind of responsibility, please let me know privately. I'm looking for people with a proven track record of moderating groups with similar rules and ideals. So um, basically, the... <laughs> The response was about what I would expect. He was not going to get away with just, you know, giving a reasonable apology. Um, they are still going to go after him, and I'll detail some of that already, but um, or rather later. But um, it kind of comes back to, you know, what I was saying earlier, that the pressure to censor the truth about these conversations is so high, um, you know, and... They referred to it as a transphobic video. One of the things that I got into with these people when I was discussing this issue with them was that they were saying, no, you don't have to actually hate trans people to be transphobic. You know, they have this new definition of transphobic. So I shared with them like five different dictionary trans um, um, definitions, including from a queer dictionary of what transphobic is. And I pointed out that I didn't adhere to any of them. And they just stopped talking about it for a while. But... Basically, if you disagreed with anything involving trans people, you're obviously transphobic. Um, if you disagree with anything regarding black people, you must be racist, etc. It's, it's, it's the way it always is. There, there is no middle ground. There is no, I just don't agree with you. you. You're just automatically a vile hater. Fuck the apology. This hurt my friends. No trans people were actually harmed in the making of this video. How are you going to apologize for a slip-up that put trans people at harm and then continue to put trans people at harm by allowing people to be transphobic, gaslight, sea lion, and tone police trans voices in the comments? Edit. Wait, are you telling me there's two mods for a 26k group? Are you fucking joking? By the way, a group that has 26,000 people in it is not exactly private. There's going to be another irony I'm going to talk about with that last clip in a moment, but anyway, I appreciate the apology, but the fact a lot of cis-appearing people are here in the comments trying to talk over trans people in these comments is telling. Cis people, it is not your place to accept this apology. You weren't wronged by the transphobia, so why the fuck are you trying to talk over trans people who are rightfully upset about what happened? Now... The reason this is interesting to me, this whole issue of talking over trans people, um, is that they banned a trans person. So this actually comes from my YouTube comments um, on one of the two videos involved. The group kicked me. Sigh. Guess we know the real transphobes are the admins. Well, here's the comment I had written up but wasn't able to send. Lilith, no. Estrogen doesn't change my joints, my physical muscle cells, my lung capacity, the impact resistance of my bones, etc., etc., etc. All estrogen does is redistribute my body fat and keep my bones from becoming brittle. I'm just as physically capable now as I was six years ago in the military. 
There's nothing wrong with admitting that I am still physiologically male and still have the biological advantages that come with that. One could argue that I've had a small amount of muscle atrophy, I suppose, but my strength and endurance hasn't changed. I could put on a 160 pound rucksack and go 12 miles no problem right now. That's more than the body weight of most women my height. And this is just one example. It's not bigoted or transphobic to point out reality. This was the follow-up actually to a post that that same trans individual had posted earlier in my Facebook comments, or rather YouTube comments. So I'm going to read that too. I'm in that group. M trans and M post op. I'm against zero restrictions on trans and sports. I support trans leagues, sure, but just open trans included matches? Nah, bruh, hard pass. Might as well make it full co ed if they are going to do that. So, again, this isn't like a transphobic thing. You don't have to hate trans people to come to this conclusion. You don't have to fear trans people to come to this conclusion. It, it's just fair is fair. Here's another positive comment I got about the original video that, um, from an actual trans person. The video was thoughtful and factual, and I think you will find that trans people like myself, and at least another I know, agree with the video. I retained strength for years that was an advantage in the log home building business. I did feel that the bill that was introduced, however, was too simplistic. It also did not address persons born intersex. The entire issue is far more complex and nuanced than simply what doctors declare at birth, but it did raise the issue for conversation, and I agree with Tulsi in the overall premise of her bill. This was in a Tulsi Gabbard group. It does bother me when I see uh, MTF high school trans persons push their way into sports because they can. I say this as then it hurts everyone when most persons like myself just want to live their lives, be productive in society, and not be constantly subjected to being judged. And because of the backlash, even cis women I know who are somewhat androgynous get called out in the women's restroom. And this is another important point that many trans people have given me is ironically actually kind of similar in different ways to the way some black people respond to the way that Black Lives Matter does things is that the attitudes that people have the kind of inquisition witch hunt you know angry hateful mentality um, the irrational behavior it actually brings far more negative attention to trans people to black people to any marginalized people um, than than anything that somebody just talking about whether or not um, they may still retain an advantage in sports ever does. Uh, the people that are suggesting that harm was done to trans people just because we even had the conversation, um, how do people ever expect this situation to ever like uh, evolve if this is how we react every time somebody wants to have a good conversation about this topic? You know, the only people you're going to get, as I said in my previous video, are the ones who already were inclined to agree with you in the first place. It doesn't get you anywhere. So you'll notice that I went ahead and um, blotted out Kathleen's picture and the rest of her name. And it's actually kind of ironic that I felt compelled to protect her, not from any kind of trans individual, you know, like trans violence coming from the right wing or whatever, but I blocked her picture and her name because of the crazy people in that group who have since showed up in my YouTube comments trying to threaten me and such. Um, and that's actually going to bring me to my next slide. There were people complaining about saying that they felt that their privacy was in some way being infringed upon. And uh, I've had some strikes to my YouTube video about it. but. I've had a lot of experience with this, with people making videos, literally using my full name, um, and you can't get anything out of it. But I think it's important to note that a group that has 26,600 members is not exactly a private situation. You can't be anywhere with 26,000 people and to be considered to be in private. So. Um, I was going to come around on this, and I was honestly, I actually started looking into what would be necessary for me to edit my video 
to um, eliminate some people's names. But it's important to note that it's not like I zeroed in on anybody, zoomed in on their pictures or anything like that. Um, I So some people use their full names on Facebook, but that's all searchable anyway. So um, it wasn't my intent to dox anybody. And that's another stupid clip that um, somebody showed me was that they suggested that this whole thing was just a big conspiracy to get a bunch of people to be doxed. But so again, I was you know, rethinking it, I mean, okay, maybe I'll go ahead and, um, you know, go through the trouble of, you know, literally just blocking out every name. And then this happened. Now, I want to emphasize that during the course of the conversation, like even when I was still in the group, there were people who were asking me, you know, why don't you use your full name? They must make them stupid at Dundee. Like they were literally just kind of insinuating to me that, they were preparing to dox me or threatening to dox me. Um, and then somebody went through the trouble of making a new Facebook group or page, I mean, to contact me in private messages after trying to friend me on my account and then sent this to me, which had my full address and sleep with one eye open, fuckhead. And I responded, hope you are armed. So... Just to be clear, I don't really take this seriously. The majority of the kind of people that are doing this sort of thing probably hope that they were just going to scare me, but that is not the effect that you're going to get. The effect that you are going to get, however, is that now I'm not going to edit my video, and that if for some reason YouTube does take it down, I'm just going to upload it everywhere else. The people who don't like that have you to thank. You decided to be an internet tough guy and threaten somebody with a family in real life. There are consequences for the things you say. I get told that all the time. But suffice it to say, you didn't make me afraid, but you did make me rethink whether or not it was actually worth my time to go through the trouble of Xing out people's Facebook names because it you know, they might have been exposed somehow in a group of 26,000 people. Um, and to be clear, nobody screened me when I joined this group in the first place. So it's entirely possible that there could be anti-trans people that are in that group, but they would never know anyway. You know, it's the, the people were making the suggestion that it was a private group that they thought was a safe space, as if, you know, every single person that was added to that group was put through a rigorous, like, vetting process and it's just not true i just asked to join because somebody wanted me to go there and debate and then i got at it it was that simple so anybody in that group you know could be a problem and you know that when you're posting you don't know all twenty six thousand of those people but there you have it you know it's been a while since i've gotten a death threat over my content but you know, as I told the people who were making threats to me before, I don't respond to them. And yes, I am armed. Not that I think it will be relevant, because I guarantee you that it's extremely likely that whoever did this doesn't have the spine 